What's going on you guys? How's everybody doing today? So this video is going to be about what the best exhaust system is for the R7. At least in my personal opinion. And I'm going to explain why fully in this video. But before I get it started, I kind of want to show you guys a full um, view of what the exhaust actually looks like first. So right here is the Yoshimura AT2. As you can see, it's a full system. Cannot get slip-ons on these bikes. Always has to be a full system. Just so you know. Uh, it has some dried carbon right here on the back. And then it has a little uh, H-pipe right here, if you can see it, in the middle. And that's what it looks like. And from afar, I think this system has to be one of the cleanest looking. Because in my personal opinion, I like a OEM Plus style look, which I feel like this system is. Especially with this colorway, it plays off really nicely. You have a little bit of this orangish red right here which then ties in with my wheels. The little decal right there. And since it's not a big exhaust like the ones you see up here, it just ties in really cleanly with the entire bike. So I really like the sleek look because I think it looks like a, it's like a track version. Like, like I said, just an OEM plus system is what I see it. On idle, you can't really tell how good it sounds, but just wait until we get into these higher RPMs. Just a few light blips. Like 2,000 RPMs. But let me head out on the road because that's where you can tell best on how this thing sounds. And if you guys have an R7, you know you have to put an exhaust system on it. There is no way you guys want to be stuck with that OEM vacuum sounding <laughs> exhaust pipe. Just rolling on it really light. But let me tell you the number one reason why I like this system. Now, first of all, the price range. When you guys are searching for an exhaust system for your R7, the cheapest one you're gonna see is that KO Lightning, and it's like $150. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like getting the cheapest of anything. I like to find a good mix, you know? Not the most expensive, but something right in the middle. And now, uh, those cheaper systems you find on eBay are like $150, $250. And the most expensive ones you're gonna see are the SC Project, which is basically like $1,400, $1,500 just for a straight pipe. Now I'm not saying that doesn't sound good, but paying $1,400, $1,500 for that system, I don't think it's worth it for this bike. And that's where this system comes in. It's around $800. I wanna say it was $819 to be exact. I think the tone that you get with this exhaust sounds really good and really clean, and it's loud, but without being obnoxious. I think it's again, a really good middle ground. some downshifts for y'all just want to get them in real quick so you can hear but I'll accelerate a little bit off from this light maybe I think there might be a cop three cars back from me on the other side so I'm gonna accelerate pretty lightly right now it's a really good tone and right now if I'm in six gear with some throttle right now at 3500 rpms there's no drone really 
this thing sounds really clean it's not obnoxious it's not gonna annoy the heck out of you you're gonna be happy with this system because like right now I'm just cruising it's quiet when I need it to be and pretty calm but then when I want it to open up and be loud just drop a few gears and give it some throttle do a few revs while I'm stuck in traffic. And I think that low end exhaust grunt you get on this bike is arguably the best part of it. Just like that. And then of course that high RPM right before red line. So when you do a full exhaust system on this bike, it is gonna pop a lot and do a ton of those backfire burbles. And that means that it isn't running the most efficient and most optimally, and when it's not, of course, tuned for it. So I went ahead and got my bike flashed so it doesn't really pop anymore. Maybe during like a 30 minute ride, I'll get like five or six little pops on D cell, but that's about it. But before you do a tune and you do an exhaust, anytime you let off the throttle, it's just going to be going the full popcorn BMW N54 burble. Just so you guys know. And the install on this Yoshimura system was really straightforward and simple. Everything with the O2 uh, went and paired right up to one another. I didn't have to worry about it being the wrong fitting, wrong adapter, nothing like that. Definitely made just for this bike because it worked perfectly. And with this whole system, I didn't have to do any sort of adjustments. Everything fit just as it was supposed to. And I'd say installing an exhaust system on this thing is really straightforward. If you just have a decent understanding of what you're doing, you can get it done. There's not too much to it and it comes with a whole um, instructions manual, if I'm correct, on how to do the entire thing. sounds really good right here how good this sounds. And what I like too about this exhaust system is you don't see them too often. At least most of the R7s I've seen in person don't run the system. I haven't seen one actually in person running the same uh, exhaust system that I am. Which I like because it makes it a little bit more unique. That brake lever guard looks so sick, like on my shadow down there. 
don't know if y'all can see it. Such a good tone, I'm telling you guys. The camera doesn't do it justice. You really got to hear it in person. Alright, just start throwing some gas. But regardless of what exhaust system you guys go with, I strongly recommend to get an exhaust system on this bike because it improves the riding experience on it so much more heavily and you're gonna enjoy this bike 10 times more with an exhaust. So regardless of what system you go with, I'd just get one on the bike at least. And take my word for it, you won't regret it. It'll be the best money you ever spent on this bike. But I did still want to do this video because I think this exhaust system is a good middle ground where you don't have to spend the most amount of money but you still can spend a little bit and get a good quality system and I've been riding th on this one for a couple months now and I have no complaints and there's not one thing about it that I don't like everything on the install was smooth everything on the sound is really smooth and the whole process on ordering it was really easy so if I didn't already say it it is the Yoshimura AT2 full stainless steel exhaust. I think they do make a titanium version, but I didn't get that one. But let me know in the comments, if you guys are already rocking the system on your R7, which one did you end up going with and are you happy with it? And I think that about wraps it up for today's video. And let me know in the comments whether you did or didn't enjoy. If you guys got hate comments, I'll take them too. I don't mind. <laughs> and if you did enjoy, Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And other than that, take care and peace. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ride safe.